McNeil said, I'd rather kill y'all with success than to give y'all knowledge. But I said, I'd rather kill y'all with knowledge. What's good, YouTube? Tower on FX back. I hope you know why I'm here, y'all. To put y'all on game. So with that being said, let's get a business. So looking at USD card, all right. Let's start from the daily time frame. So when I zoom in on the daily time frame, what do I see? We see a head and shoulder pattern. All right, this is what we see. Left shoulder right here. The head right here. And the right shoulder right here all right so this what i saw on the daily time frame so after this what do i do next i go on my uh i go on my lower time frame which is the h4 time frame so coming to my h4 time frame i see i see price break through the neckline which is this which is this zone right here or the support the neckline was also serving as a support so i see price break through it all right so when one price broke through what did price do when price broke through it came back to retest the neckline or the support as a resistance and continue heading down do you all get it yeah so all what i did was to mark this zone right here as a zone which i'm expecting price to retest or as a support which i'm expecting price to retest to come back and retest as a resistance so we can continue back to the downside get me but at the time i was taking this trade price was somewhere uh around here okay so after i mark this zone what did i do next i go back on my h1 time frame to look at what price is doing so coming down to my h1 time frame what what that do i mark this zone this lower low okay because this this there was the recent lower high so i mark this lower low which is also a support so my my thinking process was okay fine price has made this lower low right here gone up a little bit to to create a resistance right here so i was thinking okay if price is to break through or if price is to close below this support right here then this officially becomes a new lower high do you understand good but what the price do when it got here it rejected telling us price doesn't have enough momentum to close below this support or this lower low so what the price do it rejected the first time couldn't get an entry i was okay with it then luckily for me price came back again and this time around they didn't only reject but tapped into that zone closed within that zone okay price closed within the zone or within the box and what did they do next it started showing us a bullish momentum started showing us a bullish momentum with these two black candlesticks right here showing us a bullish momentum telling us there's a possibility the bulls are in the market or so buys are taking over the market but i didn't get an entry i didn't enter when price gave us this uh two bullish candlesticks because the reason why I didn't enter was because price didn't close above this bearish candlestick right here. Price never closed above it, so I didn't enter. 
what did I wait for? I went, what did I do next? Sorry, I went on my higher time frame, which is my two hour time frame, to see how price closed over there. Okay, so I go on my two hour time frame, and lo and behold, when I got here, price made a bullish and golfing candlestick. Why do we call it a bullish and can um, Sorry, why do we call it a bullish engulfing candlestick? We call it so because the size of this candlestick, this black candlestick, has overshadowed this red candlestick. Or the volume of this black candlestick is more than the volume of this uh, bearish or this red candlestick right here. Meaning the bulls are in the market, the bulls are ready to take price to the upside. Do you understand? So that's when that's why I got my entry. That was what gave me the confidence to go in for a buy. Okay, so number one, let's talk about our call frequencies. Number one, we identify our support right here one which is one price comes back into the support and reject it for the first time first rejection second rejection and looking at this rejection this was a very big rejection price rejected you get me price came back the third time close within that support zone and gave us a confirmation candle you get me Give us a confirmation candle, which is a bullish engulfing candle. For you who don't know, even this alone, even this alone, this setup right here, all right, this setup right here is a chart pattern on its own. And that chart pattern is what we call the double bottom chart pattern. Do you all get the double bottom chart pattern? So first leg right here comes down, second leg goes up, third leg comes back into that zone, then fourth leg goes back up. So this is what we call the double bottom. First bottom, second bottom, the neckline. This is what we call the neckline. This is what we call the neckline. Do y'all get me? Good. So I had about three confluences to take this tree. So where do I put my entry? I put my entry right here. I place my stop loss right below this wick. My take profit right to that support. Which I'm waiting for it to become a resistance. Get what I'm saying? As simple as that. Someone might also say, okay. Someone might also take another another entry like this. Still on the wires. Let's go back to the H1 time and let me show you. They will be like, okay, cool. So after after these two bullish candles, they will be like, price didn't close above this bearish candle. So they'll wait for the next candle. And what next candle do we get? A bearish candle. It's still, it's still not giving us a confirmation. So what candle said the price give us after the bearish candle? A bullish engulfing candle. Why do I say a bullish engulfing candle? Because the volume of this black candle is more than the volume of this red candle. Do you okay get it? Do you all get it? Or price will say a bullish engulfing candle because price closed, price closed above this bearish candlestick. It closed way above, even closed above the wick. Get me? So someone might so this could be your this could be your entry. The entry could be right at the closure of this candle and your stop loss. It depends on where you want to put your stop loss. Your stop loss you, you could decide to you could decide to put your stop loss right here right below this week 
right below this week or right below the bullish engulfing week then your take profit will be at the support zone your first take profit could be the neckline and your second take profit could be the support zone you get me i just showed you all the two types of entries you could have done with this setup or you could have gotten with this setup you get what i'm saying yeah it's as simple as that it's as simple as that one is to four cool man risking 30 pips to make 128 pips that's a good risk to reward so this how bam but my entry was the first entry the one i used on the two hour time frame yeah my that, that was my entry man as simple as that easy money easy money so what can we be expecting price to do next week me personally i think we're still gonna drop still gonna drop man because i think we're still gonna drop man because i think price is forming this kind of chop pattern uh this i think a bullish flag chop part and that's what i think price is doing yeah so my my ng if i'm if i'm to take this trade what i'll be expecting price to do is to break below this trend line price to break below this trend line that's where i'll take my entry i'm going for sales again or if not we can expect price we can expect price to come back into this zone to create yeah to come back into this zone then we see price what fall off so price break remember this is our last lower high this is the lower high which created this lower low right here okay this lower high created this lower low right here so till price closes above this lower high we are still bearish we are still looking for sales so what price could do is price could break above this support and come in and come into this resistance to create a double top okay and what and fall back down or price could break price could break above this uh this lower high then we will look for a retracement and go in for buys y'all get me yeah 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 so that's what we are looking at coming next week that's what we are looking at so guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the breakdown please don't forget to subscribe you know what i'm saying do both of us a favor man don't be selfish man don't forget to subscribe like this video drop a comment down below on which topics you want me to tackle all right and share this video man share this video with your friends and family man get these videos to about get this video to about 5k likes you know what i'm saying get this video to about 5k likes or 5k views or something yeah man appreciate y'all for watching man i hope i hope this um this breakdown or this uh tutorial really helped y'all i hope it really did man. so without further ado i'll see you on next week i'll see you on the in the next video See you out, man. Don't forget to subscribe.